Choo-choo and friends in story time. Miss <laughs> Dorothy is going to give us a class project today. Yay! I can't wait to hear what it is. Well, whatever it is, you can bet that mine will be best project in class ever! <laughs> Good morning, kids! Good morning, Miss Story! What beautiful flowers, Miss Dorothy! Yeah, they're real pretty! Did you buy them, Miss Dorothy? No, I grew them myself! Wow! I love to be able to grow flowers! I'm so happy to hear that, because that's what our class project is all about. Planting and growing flowers at home. Yay! Well, I'm just as excited as you are. So let's get this project started. Here are seeds and flower pots for each of you. When you get home, you need to put soil in the flower pots and sow the seeds in the soil. And then pretty flowers will bloom. Um, yes, Cusley, but not immediately. It'll take time and patience and lots of work. How much time, Miss Dorothy? Is there a way to make plants grow quickly? I'm afraid not. There are no shortcuts. It takes time and care. How often do we have to take care of the plants, Miss Dorothy? Every single day. To grow healthy plants, you need to see that they have enough water, sunlight, and air every day. And if you do that for a few weeks, you'll be rewarded with your own pretty flowers. Wow! It's a lot of hard work. Do you think you'll be able to do that? Yes, Miss Dorothy! Great! And in a few weeks, when your plants have flowered, you'll all bring them to class for show and tell, and we'll talk all about what we've learned from this project. That'll be the best part, because my plant will have the best flowers, because I'm the best. Oh, oh Cusley. Cusley! I'm sure you'll all do a good job and learn a lot from this project. All the best. Can't wait to get home and get started on this project. Same here. I'm so excited about all the stuff I'll learn. Yeah, me too. And I'm ready for the hard work. Wow, don't work too hard though. Cause no matter what you do, my project's gonna be the best. Day one. Grow, grow, there you go. My little flower seed. There you go, little seed. I'll take care of you. I promise. Soil, check. Water, check. Sunlight, very good. You're gonna do great, little seed. Here's some music for you, little seed. Hmm. Miss Dorothy said that we have to put soil in the flower pot and sow the seed. That means I'll have to stick my hands in dirt. Ugh, I don't want to do that. I've got a few weeks. Maybe I'll plant this tomorrow. That's such a smart idea! Can't help it if I'm full of smart ideas! After five days... Well, kids, it's been five days since you all took your seeds and pots home. I'd love to hear how the project is coming along for all of you. Who wants to go first? Miss Dorothy, I've been watering the pot every day and seeing that it gets sunlight and fresh air. And guess what? This morning, I saw a teeny tiny little plant where I planted the seed. Yes, me too. The, the same, same thing happened, happened to my seed. seed. Sounds like you're all taking very good care of your seeds. What about you, Cusley? How's your project coming along? Uh, there's no tiny plant in my flower pot. Uh, uh, what I mean is, mine's quite big already. Can't 
call it a tiny plant. I guess it's because I'm taking very good care of it. Sounds like you're doing a great job, Cusley. Keep it up. Where's that box of seeds? Where did it go? Oh no, looks like I've lost it. What do I do now? Never mind, I'll think of something. I'm sure I'll get one of my great ideas. In fact, I think I already got one. Some weeks later. Hi, little flower. Miss Dorothy, this morning I woke up to find a pretty flower in my pot. The same thing happened to my seed. What about you, Pusley? Oh, of course. Uh, mine's flowered. In fact, the flower's so big and bright, I don't need a light in my room at night. Great going, kids. Now remember, tomorrow is show and tell day, when everyone brings their projects to class so we can all take a look and talk about what we've learned. Is everyone all set? All set, Miss Dorothy! Tomorrow, show and tell. Time to put my grand idea into action. Good evening, Mr. Gardner. Well, hello, Cusley. What can I do for you? You can help me by planting that tall plant with that big flower in this flower pot, please. Why, of course, Cusley. That's no trouble at all. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. Ha! Project done. That was easy peasy. How smartly I've managed it, while the other kids had to work hard every day. <laughs> Ta-da! Feast your eyes on the best class project. How's your flower so huge? That's because, um, that's because I fed it healthy things like, uh, milk. I gave it milk to drink. But milk's not good for plants. Water is. Surely you know that, Cusley. And Miss Dorothy gave us all the same seeds. So how is your flower different from all of ours? Yeah, it's even a different color. Oh, that's because I I kept it under a pink light. But plants don't need pink lights. They need sunlight. Surely you learned that much about growing plants, Cusley. <sighs> I learned nothing. That's because unlike the rest of you, I didn't grow this myself. Miss Dorothy, I have something to tell you. Go on, Cusley. I didn't do my project like I was supposed to do. I didn't plant the seed when everyone else did. And then on the last day, I got Mr. Gardner to plant this flower in my pot. I took the easy way out, Miss Dorothy. And I realized that that was wrong because by not doing my project myself, I didn't learn anything. From now on, I'll always do my projects myself and the right way. Cusley, I'm glad you've realized your mistake and told the truth. Yes, Cusley. That was brave of you. Not easy to admit one's mistakes. Well done, Cusley. You're pretty awesome. Really? I'm awesome? <laughs> well, haven't I always told you that? Oh, Hustly! Miss Dorothy, I want to take another crack at this project. And I want to do it properly this time. Could I please have a box of seeds? Oh, sure, Hustly. I think that's a great idea. Thanks, Miss Dorothy. And be sure that I'll grow the best flower ever. <laughs> oh, Hustly!
Want to know what we're doing? Cusley and I are preparing for a race that's going to happen in school in a few days. We've been exercising every day to get fit for the race. Come, watch us prepare. Cusley and Choo Choo, ready for a quick warm up? Yes, sure, Mr. Harlow. Oh, no, not again. Can't I skip the exercise? I mean, I'm already the fittest and the fastest and the greatest kid in school. Why do I need this? Oh, come on, Cusley. It'll make you fitter and faster and greater. Cusley, there are just a few days left for the race. And exercising is a great way to stay in good form for it. Come on, let's do a quick warm up. Okay? Okay, but not okay. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. March, march, march. Let's all march. March, march, march. Choo Choo and Cuzzly, I'm sure it feels great after the workout. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. I really appreciate how well you've both been exercising for the race. In fact, I have a little surprise for both of you. I'll just go get it. A surprise? I hope mine's better than Choo Choo's, Mr. Harlow. Simply because I'm better than her. This is my lucky egg. Open it! Please open it! And these are my lucky charms. I'd like you both to pick a lucky charm to wear for the race. A lucky charm to help me win. Yay! Oh, nothing like that, Cusley. It's just a little something to make you feel good. Thank you, Mr. Harlow. May I have this wristband, please? Sure, Choo Choo. What about you, Cusley? What would you like? I'll take this headband. Uh, Mr. Harlow, maybe I'll take the hat, too. Sure, Cusley. Uh, can I take all of this stuff, please, Mr. Harlow? Well, if you like them that much, I guess you can have them. Thank you. And now I'm not just the fastest, the fittest, and the greatest kid in school. I'm also the luckiest. Look at how many lucky charms I have. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Harlow. Bye, Cusley. See you tomorrow for our workout. Uh, maybe not. Just three days left for the race, Cusley. Won't you exercise? Cusley, come do yoga with me. Just two days left for the race. Don't you want to be fit for it? Hi, friends. Look who's here to make your day. It's super adorable me. Hi, Hi Cusley. Cusley, the race today. Shouldn't you be on the playground exercising like Choo Choo? Haven't you noticed all my lucky charms, Chiku? With all this luck, why would I waste my time on exercise? And hey, be sure to cheer very loudly when I win the race today. Choo-choo's not tired?
Bird? I've got more Lucky Charms than her, and yet she's faster. Maybe everyone was right. I should have continued exercising. Better luck next time. Not luck. What I need next time is better exercise. Uh, Choo Choo, can we start exercising for the next race? Sure, Cusley. And you better get ready to cheer very loudly when I win the next race. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. 